Hi, it's Peter again. Just going to hopefully do a short video here just to show you some of the new features for this version. The reason why it's taken me a while to get this new version out is because I had to re-engineer the internals of EVA and AVX to handle all the uh, messaging that we've got now and the stuff that I'm going to be adding in in the future. And I'll show you um, a little bit of that in a minute, but I just want to show you some of the other features I've added at the same time, which I think are pretty cool. One of the things is in the settings. Your settings are displayed. Tap. In the car mode section you'll see I've got one here called proximity activation and by default it's turned on so you don't have to do anything with it and what that gives you is that when the phone is in uh, car mode then you can use the proximity sensor to activate uh, AVX or EVA so let me just show you that if I switch over to car mode. Now so let's say for example I'm um, on another application or something while I'm driving along in the car and maybe the screen goes off and I want to get um, Eva's attention or AVX's attention I just Yes Peter What time is it? The time is 6.37 p.m. Okay, so you see there you don't even have to touch the phone and you've activated that function. Um, the only thing you have to make sure on there is that you have in the uh, settings that you have the proximity activation turned on. Let's go into that. Your settings are displayed. Tab. I think it's in device proximity or is it in, in interface? I think it is. Yeah, you have to have proximity sensor turned on there, so that basically means that that function will work. So that's that's kind of neat. And you can so you're driving along and you just want to get attention, and you don't want to have to touch the phone. You just wave your hand in front of it, bang, comes forward and says what you want. So that's I think really neat. I was using it the other day, and I love it. Uh, okay, so something else I've done now, which is kind of cool, is in the settings for uh, text messaging email and Facebook I've got um, what I had before was a silent mode um, how to handle silent mode and you could basically say ignore it or obey it and uh, what I've got now is four different options for when the phone's in silent mode you can hold messages you can ignore messages you can read messages um, or what was the other one oh, ignore read and hold. Okay, so there's just the three. Okay, so when the phone goes into silent mode, you've got those options. And then when the phone comes out of silent mode, you've got these other options here. You're saying, underneath, this is new. So you've got prompt, ignore, hold, and release. And I'll put it back to prompt. So what those do, does is when the phone comes out of silent mode, if there are text messages there, if you have it set to prompt, it'll come up and say, oh, you've got four new text messages. Um, do you want to hear them? And you know, you'll say yes, and it'll say, okay, new message from so-and-so, blah, 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 what, based upon whatever setting you have set up the top here. Uh, if you set it to, to hold, when you come out of silent mode, it's just gonna hold, keep holding the messages until you say release it. Or you'll, with a new function now, you can say, you know, um, do I have any messages? And it'll give you the summary. And then if you say, say or set it to release, it'll automatically release the, the messages and just start reading them uh, when you come out of silent mode. And ignore, it'll just keep whatever setting you had before. So whatever setting you've set for when silent mode, it'll just continue to do that so it won't really do anything special, okay? So you can adjust that on Facebook um, messages. And in Facebook, you might have it reading, checking your Facebook every hour. And if your phone's silent for a couple of hours, those messages that are coming in, those will just um, queue up there. And then likewise with your email, same thing. So you can set this setting separate for each one. Okay, the other thing I've added, which is really neat, back up here in the device settings, you'll see I have this new one here. Flip over for silent mode. So uh, actually the one above it there, that, that basically is what silent mode what setting to set when you switch to this profile. So in this case, when you switch to this profile, it's off. Um, but anyway, the next one, flip over for silent mode and you have on notify, off, and on. Okay, 
what that does is if you flip the phone over, and I'll show you in a second, uh, it'll turn silent mode on for you within a couple of seconds. And when you flip the phone back over, it'll uh, turn it back off again, which is kind of neat. So maybe you walk into a meeting or something like that, you just want to turn your turn your phone over, turn on silent mode, it's not going to bug you while you're there, and the minute you pick it up again, um, it's back in business. So let me just show you that. And on with the notify option, it actually verbally says that silent mode is on, so you kind of know. And how it works, it uses a proximity sensor, but it also makes sure that the phone is horizontal or fairly close to horizontal. So if you're putting the phone um, in your bag or something like that, it could potentially trigger that sequence to start checking to see if you flip the phone over. And if it, after three attempts, if it sees that the phone's not really flipped over, it won't turn silent mode on, it'll, and then it'll stop checking until you um, bring the screen back on and off again. Now, to have this activate, if uh, AVX or EVA is in the front, you need to turn the screen off first, otherwise it just thinks that you're holding the phone to your ear, and it's gonna say yes. But if the phone is, if uh, EVA or AVX is not in the front, um, you can just turn it over with the screen on. I'll, sh I'll show you that. So I'll just go out to the main menu, I'll just flip it over here. I think I opened something. Wait a couple seconds. Silent. Okay, so you, hopefully you heard that. And uh, I don't know if you notice on the back of my phone, it's looking pretty tatty, but I got Velcro here so I can attach it to the dash of my car because I don't have a regular uh, dock in that, and that Velcro works pretty good. So when I turn it back over, you can see it, I tapped the contacts when I was there. It doesn't really do anything special, but so you'll see that the top there, silent mode, isn't on anymore. Okay, before I show you a little bit more about this new messaging stuff, I want to talk about um, this new feature I've got for t contacts for setting priorities and uh, also ignoring them. So if you do something like this. Yes, Peter. Display my contacts. I have listed the contacts you currently have defined. Okay, so you see here I've got certain contacts that are ignored. And what you can do is you can just swipe on their name and it toggles through ignored or priority or blank and what that basically does is um, if they're ignored then that person's name won't be referenced anymore so if you say call and that person's name it's not going to find that so if you have people with the same name so like for example here I've got two Brian's um, if I change the second one there to ignored and I say call Brian it's going to ignore the second one and it's going to automatically um, call the first one it's not going to ask me so that's handy for cleaning up and just having just the contacts that you use on a regular basis. And the priority, what that does, is if you have uh, your text messages or your emails being held and you have somebody set up as a priority, if a message comes in from them, it'll just basically jump the queue and it'll automatically read the message from that person even if the rest of your messages are held. So it's kind of neat if you have your spouse um, that you want to set as a priority and maybe um, some some business contacts that you're working with on an important project, you can set them as a priority and then hold the rest of your messages and things will be nice and quiet, except if something comes through from those people, you'll definitely get it. So that's, that's kind of neat. And you don't have to change it just here too. You can actually say, um, make Brian a priority or Brian is no longer a priority and it'll automatically adjust it. So you could use that function and you could set it up with a schedule or something if you wanted to. So you could say tomorrow at 8 a.m. make Brian a priority. Um, anyway, so that's kind of neat. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is how this uh, new silent mode works with the text messages and the prompt function that I've got selected right now for, for when it comes out of silent mode. So let me just send a message. Yes, Peter. Text Peter, hey, what's up? What's up? Please confirm that you want to send this message to Peter Muller by saying confirm. Confirm. Your message has been sent to Peter Muller. Okay, so then maybe maybe I might be doing something else or whatever. Turn the screen off. Go into my meeting. Flip my phone over. Wait for it to go silent mode just so I know it's in silent. Silent. Okay, so it's in silent mode now. You wait for the text message to come in. And of course, because it's silent and I've set it to hold text messages when it's silent, um, 
those will just be held right away and when I flip the phone back over it'll automatically come out of silent mode and then it'll run a little summary um, a summary program which checks to see what messages have come in and it'll, if there are any it'll wake the phone up and give me a summary and I can choose to hear the messages or just ignore them just kinda like you can already when it's playing a message so I'll just wait for that message to come in I think that was it just coming in and then okay so I flipped the phone back over my meetings finished and see the screen still off Yes. New text received from Peter Muller. Would you like to hear the message? Yes. Hey, what's up? Would you like to reply to this message? No. Okay. New text received from Peter Muller. Would you like to hear the message? No. Okay. Okay, and that'll also take into account that if during your meeting um, you had read those text messages manually using your text messaging application, it'll just ignore them and it won't tell you they're there because they've already been read, which is, and that's actually a feature added in the last version, but it's kind of neat. So, anyway. last thing I want to show you was this uh, new console that I have and this is mainly for my use but will probably be used um, by others later on when I add more functionality but what this shows you is the different um, subsystems, queues and processors um, that are running in, in the system there to handle everything and these what you see at the top of your general request that's a subsystem that handles what it says general request really and the number there, one, is, is basically saying only handles one thing at a time. Um, and then the yellow ones here, those are all queues where certain different requests can be put on the queue and they all feed into that one thing and, and they have a priority down the side here, have a status of whether they're active or held. And um, depending on what's going on, you know, a, like if a text message comes in, it'll drop on the queue here and that's where they all get queued up. So this new functionality they have now really makes it uh, easy to handle everything that's coming in without everything just being stepping on itself so you, you shouldn't have a case anymore where you're trying to send a message out and another one comes in on top of it it'll wait till you're really finished with that message before it starts reading the next one and further down here we have the different main processes are running and then the receivers that listen to different things there so they're not really doing anything that's just basically an indication there and you can see this the time that they started and how long it's been running for there so, but they, like I said, um, they're not really doing anything there. Email one, it's checking for emails, location reminders, if they're active. It's made, they're mainly just a handle here so I can see all the different things that are running. Um, anyway, so you can't really do anything with that yet. But I just, just want to show you uh, what's going on underneath. This is really going to be cool because it, it's opened up the doorway now so I can go and do um, the functionality to read your Twitter feed and to read um, an unlimited number of RSS feeds and who knows whatever else we're going to add later on um, but having this all nicely structured just means I'm not going to have any issues with it getting overwhelmed at some point so anyway that's kind of neat so hopefully you enjoy these new features and I think the next thing I'll probably be working on is either Twitter or RSS feeds and I got my new uh, Galaxy S3 is on order so probably going to be doing something with the uh, near field communications with that as well so exciting things to come hope you're enjoying it I am thanks very much <laughs>